The attacks resumed within hours of Israel's announcement of a unilateral ceasefire. Fresh rocket fire into Israel and an Israeli airstrike on militants in Gaza put the cessation of hostilities under strain. It didn't take long for the first Palestinian casualty to be confirmed. The early part of the ceasefire looked like another day of the war. But a glimmer of hope emerged when Hamas said it would hold fire for one week as long as Israel withdrew all its forces from the Gaza Strip. The ceasefire would apply to all militant groups. We, the Palestinian resistance factions, announce a ceasefire of our factions in Gaza and we stress that our demand is the withdrawal of the enemy forces from Gaza within a week, along with the opening of all the crossings. But any peace comes too late for these friends in Tel Aviv. They came to Israel believing in peace and hoping to be a part of Jewish history. But today, two of the three have had enough of the bloodshed and are leaving. It was at times unbearable to me what's happening. So for the people who are directly involved, it must be impossible to bear. And of course, this is humanly unbearable. Even if the ceasefire holds on both sides, the memories of the attacks and the deaths are still raw. I think there's so much deep, tra deep, deep trauma within Israeli society that allows this, and um, I can't, I can't hold it in my in my system. I just cry. I'm angry. I'm helpless. And the same thing, I also feel attacked by people from abroad. All these demonstrations, comparing Israel to Nazis, comparing us being monsters. And, and on a certain level they're right, but that adds on the violence being here. It just makes my resolve to stay here and do the work stronger because I feel that the perspectives here are so in the context that they're, that they're limited. They can't see beyond it. But somehow I can come with a little bit of objectivity. Time will tell how long the ceasefire will last. Israel says it will keep its army inside Gaza until all rocket firing into its territory has stopped. But on the day of the ceasefire, the questions are not so much what is going to be coming out of Gaza, but who is going to be going in when the Israeli army finally leaves. These exclusive pictures from Jericho show the secret training of the people who are planning to replace the Israeli Defense Forces. The Palestinian National Guard just one year ago deserted Gaza after Hamas took over. But today, after intensive training in Jericho and Jordan, they're planning a return that they hope will be more successful. We are military people and we are preparing for everything. When the political leadership gives us the order to go to Gaza, we will take our people and we will go there. We are just waiting for orders. But even with their top-level training, nobody wants to rely only on President Mahmoud Abbas's men to control Gaza. It's very likely that alongside these soldiers, troops from the United States, Britain, France and Germany will also be inside Gaza, just like in Iraq and Afghanistan. Paul Slayer, RT.